Good morning. Morning, morning, everybody. So most of today, I hope you're right, by the way, and welcome to Thursday, sunny Thursday, by the looks of things. So today, I've got my plan written up there. We're going to do lie on the floor. So I'm going to bring it right down here. And um, we're going to do a little, just like we did last Thursday, we're going to do a, um, a getting our head in space bit first. Warming up muscles, warming up our head, thinking about isolating the right muscle to be worked and switching off other muscles. And then we're going to start by working the core. And then we're going to go on to a back and core session. Then we're going to go on to mobility. Then we're going to do legs and glutes. So it's going to be fantastic. Morning, Emma. Morning, Dawn. Okay, we're going to start in about one minute's time. So get yourselves on the floor, on your back. I'm just trying to get myself at a decent position. There we go. I'm not just snuggle up close, but so that you can see me. Morning, Alex. Julia, in fact. Morning, Julia. And Prue. Morning, morning. Um, so make sure that you've got a mat on the floor. You don't need any weights. You don't need anything. You just need a bit of water. And I want you to just lie on your back while we just wait one minute. I know it's 7.30. Let's just wait one minute. Morning, Sarah. Morning, Caroline. Morning, Joy. And Lorna and Nicola, morning. Okay, lovely people. Let's crack on because everybody's here. Okay, so I have to move the laptop of that. I'm just trying to get into the right position. Okay, so my timer, turn that on. You're going to, all we're going to do is just spend five, ten minutes just going through our skills. Okay, so I want you to land your back and see how my feet are tucked in. Don't do that, walk them away. And you've got to have your pubic bone and your hip bones level. And not be like that, where your spine is arched, or tilted, and what you're in between. So your hands are down, take your glasses off, might leave them on the head. Hands are down, and I want you to shut your eyes. And I want you to feel your tailbone, so that's the bottom of your spine, where it meets your crack of your buttocks stretching out on the mat and your feet are light so the more that you're pressing down with your feet the more that you're really using your legs we're not thinking about the legs we're thinking about the midsection at the moment okay so all you're going to do is just lie there take a breath in through the nose and as you breathe out pull all the stomach muscles inwards so if the if, if the sound is not good enough by the way just someone write something on there um, and I'll shout a bit louder. <laughs> okay, take so breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Keep doing that while you listen to me. When you're breathing out through the mouth, you are breathing out through a drinking straw. You are pulling the navel inwards, but that doesn't mean that you're pressing the spine into the mat. I don't want you to move your spine or any of your bone structure. You are just simply sucking in your stomach muscles as if someone has, say, kicked a football in your stomach or you had one a corset on and someone was pulling the laces behind you. Okay, so you're going to use that now to challenge your stomach muscles by moving your legs. So we're going to do a, a single knee fold. It's the most boring little thing, but it's good. I want you to feel it here. So you mustn't let your spine move. Okay, you're going to take a breath in. As you breathe out, tighten in here, then float one leg up. Breathe in to put it down. Float the other leg up as you breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. I want that knee just to come above the hip. <sighs> now, every time you put a foot down, I don't want your pelvis to move. So you mustn't press down with one foot. You've got to just land it gently and float the other leg up and put it down. Think about the effort in your stomach floating that leg up. You're moving your legs, but you're not training your legs, you're training your stomach. You're gonna float the next leg up on the out breath and hold it there. Take a breath in, breathe out, lift the other leg up. Take a breath in, breathe out, put the first leg down, flatten, flatten the navel, that'll be the hard bit. Breathe in, 
Breathe out, put that down. Let's go again. Breathe in. Breathe out on the effort. <sighs> Suck your navel down. Now take a breath in. Breathe out without shuffling down the mat. Perfect. Stay there. You're going to do little heel dips. So you're going to drop down and up and down and up. Relax the shoulders. So breathe out as you lower one leg. Breathe in as you bring it back. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to bring it back. Perfect. Keep going. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to bring it back. Breathe out. Breathe in. Now, if you're doing that properly, that should be quite an effort. Keep your legs there. You're going to take them into wide heel dip now. So we're going to move it across and back. Breathe out. So you're not opening. You're shifting it across and letting the heel touch off the mat, if you're on that. Let's do four more reps. Back to the center. Breathe out, back to the center. Last two reps. Breathe out, back to the center. Breathe out, back to the center. Put one foot down and the other foot down. This time, I want you to tuck them right in. So I want you to tilt the pelvis. You're just going to tilt like that. Back to the center. You've got a dog. Breathe out. Back to the center. So tilt and press the lower back into the mat. But you're not lifting your glutes. You're pressing. So your filial stomach muscle is going hard. You're almost trying to get the hip bones up towards your rib cage. And then back to neutral. Now press. And back to neutral. Now you're going to roll up into a shoulder bridge. Take a breath in. Breathe out, tilt, press, squeeze, push the hips up, push them up, push them up, push them up. You're really squeezing here now. Take a breath in. Breathe out, tilt, and you're going to come down the way you came up. We did this last week. You would have done in the warm-up if we didn't do it in the main body of the workout. Let's go again. Take a breath in. Breathe out, tilt. Press the lower back into the mat. Squeeze the glutes as they leave the floor. Peel the spine off the floor. Push the knees away. Push the hips up. Hold it there. Hold it there. You're going to drop down and up. Ten times. Two. Three. Four. Relax everything else. Five. Just not this or this. Six. Seven. Squeeze. Eight. Two more. Nine. Ten. Hold it there. Hold. Squeeze. Harder than that. Much harder. Much harder. Squeeze. Come on. Really squeeze. Don't move the hips. Don't let them drop down. Hold it there. Squeeze. Ten more. One, two, three. Come on. Let's get them firing up. Five, six. Lift those hips. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it. You're going to hold. Hold for about ten seconds. Then we're going to do it one last time. They're going to be screaming at you. Come on. Hold on. Hold. Hold. Don't let them drop down. Come on. Push the hip flexors up. Ten more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Six, seven, eight. Perfect. Nine, ten. Take a breath in. You're going to come down out of that shoulder bridge now. Tilt the pelvis. Still squeezing the glutes. Press the lower back into the mat. And roll down. Perfect. Walk the feet away from you a little bit. You're going to take the hands behind the head. Your elbows go in at 10 to 2 on the clock, like that. And they don't move. Okay, I'm going to turn to you a little bit. Oh. Oh. Wonderful. Keep going. Just crunch. And you're driving your rib cage towards your hips. You're not tilting. And nothing is doming up here when you come up. So as you're breathing out to come up, you suck that down. So the muscles are going to stay in the right position. You're training the body in the right position. Float the left leg up and continue those crunches. Nice and light on this foot. Lift the other leg up. Get the shoulder blades off the floor. Don't pull on the back of the neck and keep the elbows still. Now straighten the left leg and do five reps. Slowly, two, three, keep that left leg straight, four, five, bring it in, other leg, one, two, three, four, five, 
head down. One foot down, the other foot down. Roll over onto your side. Now you want your soles of your feet in line with your spine. You're going to take your head on the floor like that. Your knees are together and you're going to lift up and open. So you're opening up your hip now, but you're using the glutes. Now I don't want you to roll back. Your hip bones must face me. And I want you to think about squeezing that glute. Perfect. Up. Up. Now next time you're going to hold it up there. Hold. Relax this top shoulder. Push back. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, hold it there, hold. You're working the outer glute now, the outer glute, not the whole peachy bit of the glute, the glute maximus that you were when you were on shoulder bridge. Hold it there, bring the knee down, lift both feet up, lift up and down and up. We're just getting the glutes to fire. Now be aware, this remember you're not rolling back. If you prefer to do that, do that. You're opening up, so both feet stay absolutely glued. We're going to do two more reps and take it up there. One more, one more. Lift it up, hold. Now push back an inch and hold it there. Feel that opening here. Now 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Wonderful. Come on to your plank. We're going to do the other side. Don't ever forget to do the other side. Okay, so onto your knees, like that, into a half plank. Your toes are turned under, because in a minute, watch, I'm gonna ask you to do that. But not this. Okay, I don't want you to move your hips, just your knees off the floor. Okay, hold it there. Okay, just lift one knee and push the back of the knee towards the ceiling. Now the other knee. Put the first knee down without moving the hips. You've got your dinner, hot bowl of porridge, or your breakfast, is lying on your pelvis. Lift it up. And again. First leg down. Second leg down. Both up together. One. Down together. Up together. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. Put one down. Put the other one down. Well done. Sit back on your heels. And we're just going to do the other side. I'm going to just turn around. Okay. Head in your hands. Soles of the feet. So look down at your feet. Soles of the feet. They should be level with your spine. And you're going to lift up. Now you might be slightly more flexible and mobile on one side of your hip than the other. Three. Four. That's it. Lift without letting the hip roll back. So you're training now your outer glute medius here, which is the pelvic supporting muscle, which is hugely important. That's it. Perfect. Lift. Lift and hold. 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 Push the knee back an inch. Ten pulses. One, two, three, four. Relax the shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Push it back. Ten. Down. Lift the feet and lift up. So try not to go to there, I want you to go to there, right down, touch the toes, touch the other bottom knee, lift. Watch this top shoulder because it can crawl up. When you're concentrating on something else down here, you forget about this and this gets tense. We're going to do four more. One, two, three, perfect, four. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. Push back an inch, ten pulses, one. Come on, push back. This is six, this is seven, this is eight, this is nine, this is ten. Back down, wonderful. Okay, stretch your legs out, arms over your head, you're going to do a straight leg roll up. Breathe in, breathe out. Come up, let's go again. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, I want you to round your spine so that one bit of your spine touches the mat. My voice is fading because it's an effort. So flex your feet and tense your legs to help you. Lift up, peel your spine off the floor. So you're pushing your ribs towards your hips now. And up, nice and tall. Let's go back down, breathe in, breathe out, tilt. So suck your navel in, round your spine, but relax your upper body. 
all the way down and relax. Okay, take your knees together and your feet together, do a little bit of lateral. So take your arms in a half rectangle like that and just take your knees over to one side on the in breath, then breathe out and use your waistline muscles to bring it back. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, right over, keep the knees glued, breathe out, and again, breathe in, and breathe out. Good. Just shake them out and give me 10 pelvic floors. Okay, just want to make sure that we've got. Okay, the first exercise is called a one leg circle. And you are going to move your leg, but you are training your stomach. And that's what I want you to think in your head all the time, that you're training your stomach. So you're going to do, uh, we're going to do it, we're going to do it two ways with each leg. So it's quite a short section, but I want you to concentrate on Watch, I need to go in here. I want you to see everything. Everything. Watch. So you're here. And you're going to lift that leg up and push it away. I need to just put another book on. Hold on, sorry. I need to go. That might be better actually, right then. Okay. Push the leg away. So you've got to not push down on this leg because I want you to use this, this for stability, not that foot. That leg needs to be straight, not uh, like that. There, so you'll be tensing your quad. And you're going to imagine that you're trying to draw a circle with your big toe. So quite a big circle. So you're going to breathe in for half the circle, out for half the circle. Get to the top, go the other way. Breathe in for half the circle, out for half the circle. You're thinking, that looks so easy. Why is she making such a fuss? Because we don't want this leg to move. We want the, all the effort to come from here. And trust me, it's difficult. So you're going to do a circle that's this big. Okay, so I'm going to do it facing you, I think. Sorry, you have a view of my foot. Okay, so get into this position with your leg stretched out. You're going to take a breath in. And as you breathe out, big circle. Breathe in for half the circle, out for half the circle. Get to the top. Go the other direction. Don't move your hips. Don't move that resting knee. Keep breathing out and in and out as you do the circle. The bigger the circle, the harder it is on your abs. Keep the knee and the toe facing the ceiling as much as you can. Don't turn the hip out. Slowly. If you're doing it like you're beating eggs, then you're not going to feel the effort. Come on, lift. Up to the top. Back round, tighten the stomach muscles. Keep the resting knee absolutely still. Stretch, 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 lift. And relax, put that leg down, lift the other one, stretch it away. Take a breath in, so the knees should be level. Don't press down with the resting foot. Breathe in, breathe out, off you go. So right round, lift up, scrape the inner thigh of the resting leg, get to the top of the circle and go back. Now you'll feel your upper body Flinching, tensing, try to switch it off and use only your midsection. That's why my voice keeps fading. Think about your spine, not arching, low sphincter patterns. That's it, all the way around. Stretch, keep the resting leg absolutely still. Think of the effort from the midsection and nothing else. Stretch, 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 stretch. Right the way up to the top, all the way around. Lift, 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 and relax. Okay. Now we're going to make it slightly harder. We're going to do it again. So if you want to do it again, exactly as we just did, do that. Otherwise, we're going to lift. So that resting leg was on the floor. This time we're going to lift it up. So we lift the other leg. Stretch it away. So you're less stable now because this foot isn't on the floor. We're going to do one circle one way, one circle the other, three times each, that's six circles. Yeah, we've got that, we know that two, three, is six. Ready, here we go. Plate resting on the shin. Try and make them circles, not jaggedy stars or squares. Slowly. Two. 
don't hold your breath. You want to hold your breath because you're concentrating on trying to get it right. Stretch that leg and keep that leg straight. If you're struggling with that leg in the air, put it on the floor and concentrate on the circle and using your midsection. This is my number four. Now we're going to do number five. The plate on the shin, the resting leg. That's just stay as still as possible. One on my last circle now. Put both feet down just to rest. Lift your hips because you've got a little bit of a, uh, what's the word? Shortness, contraction in your hip flexors. Back down. Okay. Lift that leg. We're stretching with the other one now. So stretch that out. Okay. Relax the shoulders. Here we go. Six circles. So the wider you take it, the more you're opening the hip and the more effort on the stunt muscles. Keep the shoulders still. So try and pay attention. Makes you very bodily aware this move. So you're breathing in for half a circle, out for half a circle. Take it round. Got a lost count for other three. I think this is number four. So remember to keep, there's no good doing it the size of a dinner plate, we need the size of a gym ball. Up, super slow. I think this is my last circle now. Lift it up and back. Wonderful, lift your hips, hold on to that. Okay, we're going to do plank and some upper back work now. So we're gonna do a plank for 30 seconds. We love a plank. And then you're going to go flat on your tummy. So I'll talk you through it. Let's do that plank first. Ready. In three, just check my little notice up there. Yeah. Three, two, one. Here we go. That's it. So it's tempting to let the knees drop. Try and do that. Obviously, if you will only ever do a half plank and you can't do a full plank, then to keep your knees on the floor. But keep them light on the floor. Okay, so we don't want the whole body weight through the knees. Try and absorb the effort of the move in your midsection. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect. Now, you're going to stretch your arms out. And you're going to have your toes down. And I want you to lift the left arm and the right leg and your torso. Perfect. So you're pushing one hip into the mat, and I want you to think about the move of the glute. So there's lots going on here, the back of the shoulders working, the upper back, the core to keep your pelvis still. You're not pressing down with a foot that's left on the floor, and you're certainly not bending that leg. If you bend the leg, you'll get the hamstrings. I want you to power up that glute. So I want you to think about the glute as you lift that leg. That's it, come on. Okay, now we can adapt that a little bit. Keep your head up and you can flap, swim. This is called swimming. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest. We're going to do that again. In 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1, 2, 3. Four, glutes, come on. Eight, nine, ten, and relax. Just bring your hands up onto all fours and just do a little cat stretch just to release that. We're going back to a 30 second plank and then we're going to do swimming but in a slightly different way. Okay, on your forearms, please, everybody, just shut up and breathe. On your forearms, do our 30 second plank again. Okay. So we're going to try and drive the elbows that way towards the toes and the toes that way to make it a bit more of an intense plan. If you think, nah, thanks, I'll just stay as I am, you stay as you are. Otherwise, if you want to make it more intense, <sighs> tighten. Don't let the knees drop down unless you want to go into a half plank. Otherwise, squeeze the glutes, tense the legs, drive the elbows. Four. Three, two, one. Oh, up on all fours now. This time, you're going to go. So you've got marbles dotted along your spine, okay? And you're going to go. Change. 
not swapping from side to side like that, okay? We'll stay at, use the midsection to keep you stable. Left arm, right leg in three, two, one. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, other side. So it's the changeover that's as important as anything else. Try not to sink towards the floor. Three, two, one. Bring it down, change. Hold on to that. Four, three, two, one. Nice floppy foot, nice fired up glute. Come on, stretch the leg out. Don't sink towards the floor here. Lift yourself away. Four, three, two, one. Let's have a cat stretch again. Tilt the pelvis, arch up, head under. Come on, really arch up. Try and get the hip bones on the rib cage. Back to our plank. We can add some bells and whistles to this plank. Let's just check what my bells and whistles are. Hold on to that. Okay, if you'd like to, you can lift a leg. But only if you're not going to move. So none of this movement here. Ready, let's go. Perfect. <sighs> Wonderful. Slow movement. Just think about that image of the bowl of boiling water on your pelvis. Lift. That's it, lift. Lift. In five seconds, four, three, two, one. Drop your knees, sit back on your heels. Now the next swimming we're going to do, you're going to do as a half plank. So I want you to get into a half plank. So you're going to be here, like that. Not there, there. So your elbows need to be underneath your shoulders and your knees on the floor and your back nice and straight. So you're going to take out Right leg, left arm. Okay, and we're going to hold that for 10 seconds and we're going to do it twice each diagonal. Then we're going to go on to the next section. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hold that. Try not to let the stomach muscles sink down to the floor. Three, two, one. Change without lifting your hips. Ten, nine. Come on. Use the glute. Back of the shoulder, think stomach, think navel up to the ceiling, change. Other side. Don't sink to the floor, keep that arm by your ear. Four, three, two, one, change. We'll be getting very hot now because you're facing forward, straighten that leg, use the glute. Four, three, two, one. Well done, sit back on your heels, Walk your hands away and just take your knees wide so you're opening up your hips and sit down and I want you to do 10 pelvic floors. Well, you sort out all of your legs. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm really annoying that my mat is not at the right angle. There we go. Okay. When you've done that, come into this position. If you find it like you want to sit like that because you've got rounded back and rounded shoulders. No judgment made, just people are made like that. Put something underneath here, sit on a book or something, and it will elevate your pelvis and it will make you feel much more comfortable. I'm going to try and keep straight legs even though my hamstrings are killing me. <laughs> but if you need to bend them, it's fine. We're just going to do two lovely moves twice. And then we're going to stay in this position and do something else. No mobility moves. One of them, is called a spine twist. So your arms are wide like that. You can have your palms facing up so your shoulders stay down. You're going to take a breath in, and as you breathe out, I'm doing it sideways, not to show you. You're going to go like that. You think, yeah, because I don't want you to go like that. Oh. Okay, I need you to stay in line. And it's all about here, it's not about those shoulders. So drop the shoulders. Stay tall, don't grip with the legs, you're just loosening them. Take a breath in, breathe out, turn. 
Breathe in back to the center. Breathe out, turn. Breathe in back to the center. And again, breathe out, turn. Think down to Navi, pause it, come on. Breathe in back to the center. Nothing else is happening other than your all the muscles around your spine. You want to turn your spine back to the center. We'll do one more each side. Keep the shoulders down. Breathe out. Make a face. Breathe in. Breathe out. Turn. Wonderful. Stay in that position. Don't go like that. Stay upright. Palms facing down now, and you're going to lean little foot, little finger to little toe, and then come up. So you're going to rotate and look behind you. Now try not to lift the bum cheek. Keep them both on the floor. Take a breath in, everybody. Breathe out. <sighs> Breathe in. So if you want to go slower than me, that's absolutely fine. I certainly don't want you to go faster than me because you need to get the back. So adjust your position when you get to the center. So none of this, okay? It's not a fast movement. It's, oof. you're trying to get lower on that thigh every time. Oof. Back up, drop the shoulders, turn. Oof. Fantastic. Relax the shoulders, don't relax the spine, just relax the shoulders. We're going to do them both again. Relax here. If you need to bring your legs in and do anything with your legs, that's fine. But it's your sit bones you need to be on the floor and your midsection's working. Let's go back to that spine twist. If you struggle with that, put your hands on your shoulders. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out, turn only a little way to there. No movement in the legs. Breathe in. Breathe out, turn. Come on, you've got a broomstick right up the bottom, glued to your spine. Breathe out. Face this, come on, breathe in. Breathe out, stay tall, slowly, slowly. It's not how far you go, it's how well you go. Perfect. Palms down, straight into that saw. This time you're going to do three little pulses. One, two, three. Back up. We're going to do that six times, three each side. Breathe in. Breathe out. One, two, three. Don't raise that bum cheek. One, two, three. Lift up, turn. One, Two, three, and again, come on. Use the stomach muscles and the back muscles one more time each side. Two, three, back up, and again, one, two, three. Hug your feet in. Because, that's a good move, because when you're 75 and you want to reverse your car down the driveway, you want to be able to do it, don't you? You want this to be stable and the rest of your spine to be nice and mobile so you can twist and dance and rock and roll into our 80s. That's my plan anyway. Uh, right, hold on, so hold on to that. We're gonna do a V-sit, mm, nasty. So a V-sit, nice straight back like that with your chest up there. So you either have your feet like that or like that. Now I'm gonna have my feet like that because I have problems with my hip flexors at the moment and they will kill. But if you want to do that, Fine, all that, fine, all that. But none of this moves. The back stays the same. So you can change your position mid time. We're going to hold a V-sit, however you like, for about 10 seconds. And then you're going to go breathe in, breathe out. That's when you do round your spine. Straighten it, round it. Straighten it, round it. Okay? So you're going to do that. We're going to do five of those. We're going to hold a V-sit for 10 seconds first. Ready? Drop the shoulders, chest up there. Here we go. Hold on to it. So straight, chest out, everybody. Three, two, one. Breathe in to go back. Round the spine, tilt the curls. So you're tugging on the navel. Fire the navel back that way to get up, that's it. We need a real contraction. And again, two more, breathe in. 
Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Perfect. Okay, now, up there, we just explain. You're going to do a V sit and you're going to do the roll ups plus some crunches. So it's adding in a little pyramid. Here we go. Let's do our V sit now. Drop the shoulders. Push the chest towards the ceiling. Hold it for 10 seconds. And then we do our five half roll ups. Three, two, one. Breathe in. Breathe out. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. Number three, breathe in, tilt the pelvis. Breathe out, two more. Breathe in. And out, one more. Breathe in. And out. Now roll all the way down, just shuffling forward. Roll all the way down. Keep your feet where they are, hands behind the head. Five good crunches. Three, four, five. Legs up, five crunches. Two, three, four, five. Legs higher up, even still. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Feet down, bring yourself up. To that position. Now we're going to do the V sit, a half roll down, that set of crunches, and some single leg drops. Okay, ready? Oh, it's getting sweaty, isn't it? Okay. That's straight. So your core is engaged in that position. It wouldn't be in that position, but it is in that position. Okay. Hold on to it. Take a breath in. No, no, don't take a breath in. Just breathe. I thought we were doing a roll down. We're still in the V sit for another five seconds. Come on, Devon, get a grip. Three, two, one. Here we go. Back we go. Breathe in. Oh, breathe out. Come on, round the spine. You've got to round the spine. You can't go back with a flat back. Oh. Tug at those abdominals. Make them work for you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Oh. Two more. One more. Roll down. Feet on the floor, five crunches. One. Feet nice and light. Two. Get everything working. Three. Shoulder blades off the floor. Four. Five. Lift your legs. Five more. One. Make sure the knees are above the hips, not crawling in over your navel. Three, two more. One, two, lift the legs. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Head on the floor, hands down. Flex your feet. Now, watch. Don't put your feet down. You can either do that. One, up, breathing in, breathing out. Or if you struggle with that, you can do your heel dip. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing in to lower. So we change the breathing slightly. Here we go. Breathe in. Now explode up. Using your stomach muscles. We're going to do 10. Relax the upper body. I think this is number six. Four more. You can do a double if you want to do a double. Keep your legs straight though. Two more. One. Two. One foot down, the other foot down. Your hip flexors in the front of your thigh. We're probably feeling it a little bit, so I would like you to roll over onto one side, grab hold of one foot, and push that hip forward and take the knee back a little bit. So we'll stretch the hip flexors at the end. Well, I just look at my little... Oh, yes. What time are we? Okay, five past. I'm on with woman at home and half past. Hinge. Mm, yes, we've got some nice side leg raises now. Um, just go on to the other side, please. We'll do one other hip flexor. So take it back, push the hip forward. So we're going to do something called the hinge, and I'm going to do it sideways. 
so that you can see. I need to just move that back a little bit. Okay, so you're on your knees. Like that. And you're going to lean back like that. Not like that. Okay? Because that's just silly, isn't it? So you're squeezing your glutes, using this to support this, and using that to support this. Drop the uh, arms. You know, go back and hold it for 15 seconds. <sighs> Squeeze your glutes. You'll feel a, a sort of isometric, sort of static contraction here. Five seconds. And come back. I don't know what we're going to do then. Okay. We're going to do it again. 15 seconds in three, two, one. Just in case you didn't grasp it last time. Hold it there for 15 seconds. One arm out and back. Other arm out and back. Squeeze. You're rotating. Keep the hip flexors nice and stretched. Squeeze the glutes. One more time each side. One, two. Okay. That was pause. And then now work the glutes. So I'm facing you. You're going to put one arm down and this leg out. And this leg here. So prepare to work all this and the outer glute. This hand behind the head. This is tough, okay? So you're going to lift. One, two, don't touch on the floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it at the top. Hold, 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 hold. Hold, hold it there. Ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, hold, hold. You're going to do ten more. Come on, you know you can. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. Come up on your knees. Go to the other side. Hand down, leg out, hand behind the head. If you struggle with your wrist, you can go down on your forearm and do it. Okay, here we go. Ten raises. One, the sweat dripping down my chin. Two, three, four. Keep the body absolutely still. Five, perfect. Six, seven. Perfect. Come on. Eight, nine, ten. Hold, hold. Absolutely still. Stretch the leg away. Make sure it's in line with your hip. Don't let the wander behind you. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there. Hold, hold, hold. Do another ten. Of course we are. Come on. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Bring it down. Come back on your knees. We're going back to our hinge now. That's nice, isn't it? So 15 seconds. No fancy arm. I just want you to concentrate on here. Drop the shoulders. Arms up if you like. That means your shoulders will be dropped down. Squeeze the glutes. Lean back. Here we go. 15 seconds. Hold on to it. Hold. Clench those glutes, come on, and peeps. Four, three, two, one. First side. Leg up, hands behind the head. You're going to lift that leg up, <laughs> which is a real effort. You're going to lift the leg up and take it forward and back. Okay, we're only going to do that five times. <laughs> It's difficult, but you're not allowed to swing. No swing, pure control. Lift, flex the foot, take it forward. One, two, three, come on, four, five, and down. Change sides, hand down, 
leg out, hand behind the head, make sure that knee's underneath the hip, lift the leg, flex the foot, five, one, two, push, three, and four, five, come on, I'm struggling for the walls, bring the knees down, stretch out the arms, now I want you to go, I'm going to bring them down again. I want you to go onto the first side again, but on your elbow. So here, like that. Bottom leg is bent. Much less effort on the core now, much less effort on your shoulder. All in here. Stretch. So see how my hip, if I lift the leg up here, the hip travels up towards my armpit. I don't want that. I want to push the hip that way. So it's not going to go any further than that. So your heel is down, which I think we did this last week. Heel is down, uh, up, sorry, the toe is down. But you're still in line with your hip. We're going to go for it, come on. Lift down and up. Keep stretching the leg. Don't just think, oh, I must lift it as high as I can. Keep stretching it and pushing it away. So the hip always stays there. So you're working that glute medius. You're not working a nasty little muscle called the TFL, which gets overworks and then you get IT band problems. So heel up, hold it there, 10, 9, 8, 7, but let your hips roll forward, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to do five lifts, 1, stretch it, 2, relax here, 3, 4, Five, ten pulses, one, two, stretch, three, stretch, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and again, five, one, last time, promise, two, and three, push away, four, come on, push, five, ten pulses, one, two, three, four, navel gently pulled in, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Bring it round, give it a rub. We'll live on the other side. I'll just swing round. Head in your hand, or you can have your hand like that, it's up to you. Okay, bottom leg is bent, and the top, remember, is stretched out, so the ankle and the knee and the hip are all in line. Push the leg away. There's almost a little gap under here. Stretch and lift. Here we go, we're just lifting. So the toe is down and the hip is up. Drop the shoulders. That's it, that's it. Come on, keep going, keep going. We're nearly, we're done after this. We're going to be stretching the glutes and the hamstrings. Okay. Ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight. Stretch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Five more range. One, two, Stay absolutely still. Three. There's no hip movement here. Four. Five. Ten pulses. One, two, three, four. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again. Five. One. This is the last time. Two, three, four. Come on. Five. We can do those ten now. Come on. Ten. Stretch. Seven, six. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Oh, bring it down, give it a rub, roll it onto your back. Okay. I want you to lift your, uh, no, actually, put, tuck your feet in and lift your hips up. Turn your toes out a little bit, that's it. Hold up there. We're going to stretch the hip flexors properly. Turn your toes forward, put the left leg on the right. Turn that knee out, and it probably is going to go oh, oh, as you try and turn it out. Lift up. Feels a bit well worked, doesn't it? Change sides. Put that right foot on the left knee. Turn the knee out. I'm a bit stiff on this side, so I can't get very high. You can put your hands through your leg, but I might let the arms up on that. Push that knee out. Brilliant. Stretch the legs away. Tuck the left knee in towards the chest. 
and bring the knee across the body. We're going to do turn over onto our front to a boot stretch again in a minute. Now turn and look at that hand. Back to the centre. Tuck the other knee in towards the chest. Right in. Bring the knee across the body. And take the opposite arm out. Fabulous. Okay, roll over. Onto your knees. I'm just going to lift you up from the chair. So go onto your knees and take your left leg forward. Sort out your hair while you're at it. Like that. Okay, so you're going to pull your trouser up, then tilt the pelvis and push forward, and you'll feel that hip flexor stretch. Okay, so don't raise the arm or anything, just lean back a little bit so you feel it in that. Oh, sorry, my right tip. Right tip. Now I want you to put your hand on the inside of that front foot. Take that back leg back and take it off the ground if you can. If not, leave it on the floor. And push down. Push down. Now, if you can go down on your forearms, go down on your forearms. I can just about get down with one forearm. Might have to go on the floor. Push down. Now, open up on this little toe here and push that knee out a bit. So you're going to stretch in the hip here, but in the hip flexor here. Open that. That's it. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come up. Change legs. So take the right leg forward now. And you're going to hold your right angle position. Tilt the pelvis. Push forwards a bit. Hold on to that. So lean back so you get a stretch here. We're still squeezing that glute. Now put your hands down. In, on the inside of that front foot, take that back knee back. Shoulder blades down. If it hurts, put the back knee on the floor. Otherwise, stay there. And then if you can, go down your forearms. I find that very difficult on this side. I'm going to keep my arms straight. But if you can, go down your forearms. And get the most out of the stretch. Then open out that knee, going onto the little toe of this foot here. Like that. Hold on to that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Foot back, bring that foot round. Take the knees to the edge of your mat, if you're on a mat, and open up the hip and sit back and stretch your arms away. Really stretch them away. Sweating dishevelled. That's it. So really open up the hip, push them back. Fantastic. Sit back like that. Okay, come up on your knees. I just want you to stretch out to one way, stretch out to the other. I want you to take your left ear to your left shoulder, push your right fingers down. Come up, right ear to right shoulder, and left, sorry, left fingers down, that's it, stretch. You're gonna come up, look to the left and the right, and then uh, come up through a hamstring stretch, so hips out behind you like that. So the, the, the um, let me turn that way, this leg is the one that is stretching, so you need to lengthen and tilt the pelvis upwards. And the other side, hips out behind you, tilt, and elongate, really elongate. And I want you to take a breath in, step on your glasses, take a breath in, breathe out, breathe in, one more, breathe out. Wonderful, everybody. Sorry I've kept you so long. Fantastic. In six minutes' time, I'm over on Woman and Home doing uh, arms and tums. So you'll need weights for that. So we're going to do a little um, tricep, bicep, shoulders, and a bit of core. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Lovely. Well done, everybody. Fantastic.
See you soon.